welcome back guys welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be helping you to fix the application has failed to start because its side by side configuration is incorrect error on your windows 10 or windows 11. so what happened that whenever you try to install any kind of application or when you try to open any kind of installed application you get this kind of error message now there can be many reasons behind it but we won't be discussing about that and let's quickly get started with the solution so the first thing that i would recommend that please go ahead and check for any kind of infection and for that i would recommend that run all the dism and the sfc command on your windows 10 and 11. so click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt choose run as administrator then click on yes the black window will be now coming up now here you have to run few command that you will be getting in the description so you can copy all these command one by one right click on the black window paste it hit the enter key once the first command get completed you have to copy the second command right click and paste it hit the enter key again now these all three command will take some time it will be scanning all the file so what you will have to do once the second command get 100 percent completed you need to run the third command and once the third is completed you have to go and run the fourth command all right so wait until all these commands are completed and meanwhile what you can do click on your windows search again type troubleshoot then click on troubleshoot settings and here click on other troubleshooters scroll down a bit and you will find program compatibility troubleshooter so it basically find and fix problem with running older program on this version of windows so you have to click on run here now this will try to detect the problem that why you are getting this kind of application has failed to start problem error now once it comes up it will ask you that with which application you are having the problem with so whichever problem you are having the trouble you need to click on it then you have to click on next and now this will try to resolve the problem so if you get the same message then you have to click on try recommended settings then you can click on test the program and the application will now be coming up so if it comes up then your issue has been resolved but in case still if you have the problem then you have to close everything then click on your windows search type appwiz.cpl hit the enter key now here in the programs you have to look for microsoft visual c++ so once you get it you have to make a right click on it choose uninstall then click on yes now once you get this option you have to click on repair then click on close do the same with the other microsoft visual c++ program right click choose uninstall then click on yes then click on repair and once it's been done then you have to finally restart your computer once the computer gets restarted again check back if the problem has been fixed or not but still if you have the problem then again you have to open the program so type appwiz.cpl hit the enter key now here in the program list you have to look for that particular application or program with which you are having the problem you need to just right click and uninstall it once it get uninstalled you need to reinstall it again from the manufacturer website and this time you have to make sure that you download and install the right version of the software so keep in mind that most of the application comes in 32 bit and the 64 bit version so what you can do you can check your version by clicking on the window search type system then click on system information now here in the system type you can see that it's x64 based pc so if i download any application that is based on 32 bit then surely i would be having some problem all right so this time when you reinstall the application so make sure that you download the right system type right version of application and then you can again check if the problem has been fixed and now still if none of the method work for you then finally you can try restoring your computer to a previous date when the computer was working fine so let's say my computer was working fine about 10 days back so i will try to restore my computer to any date that is nearby to 10 days so for that you can click on your windows search again type rstrui.exe hit the enter key 
well i have not created any kind of system restore but in case if you have created any you will see that date on the screen so you can select that particular date and then you can restore the computer when the computer was working fine so these are the complete list of solution and i'm very sure that one of these method will surely work for you and if this work for you do not forget to like and subscribe and in case still if you have the problem then let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video bye bye